December 16th, 2013 meeting of the Agenda Charter Committee will now come to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Chairman Holland? Here. Ms. Cayley? Here. Mr. McCann? Here. Mr. Patterson? Here. Mr. Rocco? Here. Is there anyone signed up for the public forum? There is. We have one speaker, Tom Gregory. I would like to speak in favor of the motion that Mr. Wilcox has brought before the legislature for a reason that I think is worth consideration. That when we say, I've got your back, I know if I were county executive, that my back would be strengthened by the fact that if I'm ever approached by somebody who would try to waylay me to make a indiscretion, I could always use an excuse. I can't do that. I wouldn't want to do that, but the legislature wouldn't let me do it. You know, we, they put locks on doors to keep honest people honest. We, how many times have we used our wife, husband, as an excuse for not going out drinking with the boys or with the girls, wouldn't understand. There's a lot of things that we kind of indirectly avoid by directly referencing something. And I think legislative oversight is an important ingredient in our legislative process. As a legislature, you have the judicial capacity, you have an executive capacity, and of course you have the policy-making capacity. I think that we would be serving the interests of Maggie in the context of showing her, so strengthening her position, so she might have an opportunity to say to others, ain't gonna happen. My legislature wouldn't allow me to do it. I don't think there's corruption there. And I've heard the argument that there's other investigations going on and why muddy the waters, which has some credibility. But on the other hand, I think that this legislature is important that we also realize our role in representing the 17 or 23,000 people, however, however many that is, that each of you represent individually. You're accessible to, those, to that public. Maggie isn't. I think that you do a good service to the public as well as to the county executive by considering this motion. Thank you. Is there anyone present who has not signed up to speak who would like to address the committee at this time? Seeing no one, the next item on the agenda is the approval of minutes. You have the November 25th, 2013 minutes before you. They will stand approved unless the clerk is notified of any changes by the end of the day. The next item on the agenda is new business. Madam Re clerk? Referral 13-333 authorizing Moved by uh, Legislator Cayley, seconded by Le Legislator Patterson. Is there any discussion? Before we have discussion, I see the writer of the uh, referral is here tonight. I'd like to give Legislator Wilcox the opportunity to speak to his uh, referral. money to fund her own internal investigation. The county executive cannot be allowed to inve investigate her own administration, the action of her own appointed department heads, her own office, or even her own actions. The county executive herself personally assigned the $100 million contract to Navitan. In light of these conflicts, how can the county executive reasonably be expected to conduct credible internal investigation. Furthermore, we know that the administration has publicly stated that irregularities have been found. However, we still have no indication of what those irregularities are. Although we are told that they've been turned over to the Attorney General, we still don't know if those irregularities rise to the level of criminality or if they're simply the same irregularities contained in the comptroller's report from September of 2011. We also have not been told why the county executive decided to wait well over a year after the comptroller released his report to conduct 
and internal investigations. Additionally, the county executive will not tell us how much they have spent on this internal investigation to date or how much she intends to spend going forward. We have heard that the legislature cannot conduct an investigation because it's too complex and that the legislature will interfere with investigations being conducted by state and federal authorities. However, I think this line of reasoning is confusing the current criminal investigations with the purpose of this investigatory committee. This body has had an investigatory commission in the past, and like that committee, the purpose of this one is for a truly independent investigation in order to identify the policies and procedures that fail and how best to ensure that such failures never occur again. Furthermore, I believe it could be done using existing resources, including our own county attorney if necessary. If the committee were to decide additional resources are needed, the legislature could approve them. The only way to ensure that this internal investigation has any credibility is to have it turned over to the legislature. At a time like this, no one in public can have any faith in an investigation that is being conducted by the county executive into a matter that she herself handle, ensuring public trust and confidence in county government at this time is of the utmost importance. I'd like to conclude by simply saying a vote against this proposal is a vote to allow the county executive to investigate herself. Thank you. Is there any further discussion? Legislative Kaylee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I would just like to um, offer my opinion on this uh, proposal referral. I am in support of it. I believe that it, it lays a groundwork for discussion and discovery uh, by and between the majority and the minority of the legislative body here. It is imperative and it's our duty as elected legislators to ensure that an internal review is credible when it's performed. The county executive and her administration um, are probably, can adequately perform internal reviews, uh, in my opinion, but in this case, since they involve her administration directly, it is not the appropriate thing to do. Whereas the actions of the administration are under scrutiny, the award of a $100 million contract to an entity with less than a month of uh, work in, his, in existence, a former appointed department head is under indictment, and the manner in which contracts were awarded. These are all subject to scrutiny and um, should be investigated by the legislative body versus the, the administration itself. While the administration intends to share and has shared irregularities found by the councils, uh, the council hired by the county, Mr. Vacco, we as a governing body have been removed from that loop and are not privy to any details whatsoever. The cost of this council is also an issue why would the legislature be satisfied to hire and pay for counsel when we have no indication as to who the real client is? And I believe that we should be the clients or the, the citizens of this county. The cost of this referral submitted today in, uh, would effectively have no additional cost. This investigative committee is not meant to replace the two ongoing criminal investigations. The committee is meant to discover policy and procedure lapses which allowed the alleged misconduct to uh, grow in an open and unbiased manner and in that way uh, learn from the mistakes that may have happened. If the committee discovers information that appears suspect, it would be expected that such information would immediately be shared with any entities that are, that are needful, in this case FBI or, or the Attorney General, and that their guidance would be sought on whether the committee should continue pursuing with any of that information. As legislator Wilcox, my colleague has said, we are open to considering any amendments or alternative proposals that the majority may have. And if there are particular aspects of this proposal that our colleagues do not favor, that let's talk about it and work towards an agreeable situation. Uh, and in, in closing, I would urge that my colleagues consider this referral and uh, vote it forward. Thank you. Any further discussion? Legislator Patterson. Oversight is a basic responsibility of a legislature. This is simply a part of our oversight function. We need to carry it out. And it is my sincere hope that our colleagues 
on the other side of the aisle, we'll join with us in moving this referral forward. Any further discussion? We'll proceed to vote. All those in favor, say aye. All those against, nay. Nay. The vote is three to two. The motion fails. Two to three. Two to three, I'm sorry. Two. The motion fails. Are there any other matters to come before this com committee? There being none. I've had a request to uh, ask for the, um, the uh, excuse me, the videos for the April, May, and June agenda charter uh, meetings. They are still, um, have not been delivered to the office. And I would respectfully ask for a time frame when we could expect them. Through the chair. Um, I don't have any information on that. I have no agenda requests. Okay. So we will get back to you on that. Thank you. Then um, a follow-up question on that, if I may. Uh, do we know the name of the company that handles these DVDs through the chair? I don't have any other information. Okay. Any other? I don't have any. No, we d I don't have any information. No. Okay. I guess we'll have to provide that information also. So it's April, May, and June in the name of the company. Yes, thank you. Could I ask for at least the name of the company within uh, a two-week period of time or one week, please, through the chair? Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Are there any other matters to come before this committee? There being no other matters, the December 16, 2013 meeting of the Agenda Charter Committee stands adjourned. The next meeting of the Agenda Charter Committee is scheduled for January 27th, 2014.